Okay, so now we come to the second part of the video for today's asynchronous lecture and also for this uh, topic lah, topic 1. Okay, we move to the next slide here to find the eigenvalue. Okay, so to find the eigenvalue ni sebenarnya dia punya step ni, dia ada formula dia tau how to find the eigenvalue. But... Uh, untuk memendekkan cerita I'll straight away jump to here Okay, I'll straight away jump to here On how to determine the eigenvalue The eigenvalue of a matrix A We are able to find its eigenvalue If and only if A minus lambda R is singular Maksud singular kat sini maksud dia apa? Maksud dia dia tak ada inverse A minus lambda I tak ada inverse So kalau dia tak ada inverse Maksudnya apa? Okay if we have a matrix A Matrix A ni kita boleh kata it's inverse Katakanlah kita ada matrix A eh. Matrix A ni uh, tak ada inverse Okay, inverse dia does not exist Bila? How to find the inverse? To find the inverse is 1 over determinant of A kan And darab with the cofactors, right? So the inverse does not exist Bila? Bila dia punya determinant is equals to is equal to what? Is, is, is equal to does not exist? No. When the determinant is does not exist. When the determinant does not exist. Eh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Bukan does not exist. When the determinant is equal to zero. Sebabnya si ij ni, the cofactors bahagi dengan kosong kan, dia jadi does not exist. Okay, so when the determinant is equal to zero, then we can say that the matrix is singular. Why? Because the inverse does not exist. So, same goes here. Okay, same goes here. Where this matrix is considered singular. Maknanya dia tak ada inverse. So, the determinant of this matrix is equal to zero. The determinant of this matrix is equal to zero. Detail story kenapa uh, eigenvalue ni hanya ada bila A minus lambda I ni is singular where it leads to determinant of A minus with lambda I equals to zero ni. It has been explained in here. Tapi saya tak nak memeningkan you all about this derivation. Tapi kalau you all nak tahu, you may uh, PM tepi saya, I will explain to you. Sebab kalau yang ni dia akan jadi menyebabkan you all a little bit pening, saya takut drag, habis mood nak faham the rest. Okay, so as of now, you just understand that to determine the uh, eigenvalue, Okay, to determine the eigenvalue, we just have to consider the determinant of A minus with lambda I is equals to zero. Ha. Kenapa kita consider macam ni? Sebab the eigenvalue only exists bila this matrix is a singular matrix. Apa maksud singular? Maksudnya dia tak ada inverse. Okay. So, daripada sini nanti ya, kita akan dapat a characteristic equation when we let equals to zero, blah, blah, blah here. Dan bila kita dah dapat characteristic equation, kita boleh solve lambda. Bila dapat lambda, kita boleh cari eigenvector. This is our objective for today or the cost learning outcome for today. I want everyone able to find the eigenvalue and daripada eigenvalue, you all boleh decide or determine the eigenvector. Okay, saya akan start from scratch here on example A. We have a matrix A here. Okay, listen carefully. Yeah. Matrix A here is 2, negative 12, 1, negative 5. And to determine the eigenvalue, kita berpandukan kepada pernyataan determinant of A minus I lambda ataupun lambda I ni sama je is equals to 0. Okay, tak nak tu kita letak lambda kat depan. Dia sama je. Lambda darab dengan I matrix. Okay, so apa maksud ni? 
Maknanya kita cari dulu A minus with lambda I Lambda ni tak ada Kita tak tahu apa punya value This is what we want to find Okay So sekarang ni Matrix A kita adalah apa 2 negative 12 1 negative 5 Okay And then Minus with Saya go memang One step by step lah ni Our matrix I ni kan is an identity matrix. It's nothing but 1, 0, 0, 1. So we have 1, 0, 0, 1. So what we're going to have here is 2, negative 12, 1, negative 5. Tolak dengan negative lambda. Masuk sini. Ni negative lambda darab kosong, kosong. Negatif lambda darab dengan kosong, kosong. And then negatif lambda. Negatif eh. Ah uh, Sorry. Tak nak letak negatif. Positif lah. Darab dengan lambda je. Bukan darab dengan negatif lambda. Sorry eh. Tolak lambda ni tolak. I still remain tolak kat sini. So, just multiply lambda inside the matrix. So, lambda darab dengan satu is lambda. Lambda darab dengan kosong is kosong. Lambda darab kosong kat bawah ni kosong. Lambda darab dengan satu kat sini you get another lambda. Haa, faham tak? So, maknanya kat sini you akan dapat a matrix equals to 2 tolak lambda. Betul? 2 minus lambda. And here 2 tolak kosong. So, 2 je lah. And then here pun 1 tolak kosong. So, we have 1 here. And negative 5 tolak lambda. This lambda. Tolak. Okay. It's a matrix operation. Kita tolak matrix macam mana? Negative 5 tolak lambda. Boleh faham? Okay. So, maksudnya kat sini. Our matrix... Okay, kita punya matrix ni adalah Okay, our matrix uh, Apa? A Allah tak berbekas pula Okay, A minus with lambda I Is equals to uh, Saya dah tunjuk tadi kan 2 minus lambda 1 2 negative 5 minus lambda Okay so, to determine the lambda ni, we have a condition where a the determinant of A minus with lambda I is equals to 0. So, untuk determine the determinant, macam mana kita determine the determinant of 2 times 2 matrix? Ingat tak? Macam mana kita determine the determinant of 2 times 2 matrix? Ingat tak? Very simple je kan? Untuk determine the determinant of 2 times 2 matrix is kita darab silang. Yang ni darab dengan yang ni. Right? 2 minus lambda tolak negatif 5 tolak lambda. Lepas tu tambah ke tolak? Tolak ha, darab silang dengan yang ni. Tolak 1 darab dengan 2. So what we have is 2 minus wave 2 minus lambda darab dengan negatif 5 tolak lambda. So, saya teruskan yang ni. 2 tolak 5 is negative 10. And then here negative uh, 2 darab negatif lambda is we have negative 2 lambda. And negative lambda darab negatif 5 we have 5 lambda. Okay. And then negative lambda darab dengan negatif lambda is we have plus lambda square. And then negatif 1 darab dengan 2, tolak 1 darab 2 is tolak 2. Okay. So, in this case, what we have is negatif 10, tolak 2 lambda, tambah 5 lambda, tambah lambda square, tolak 2. So, what you will have at the end? At the end, we have lambda square, kan? 5 lambda tolak 2 lambda we have plus 3 lambda and then we have here uh, negative 10 tolak 2 so we have negative 12 equals to 0 ok lambda square tambah 3 lambda minus 12 is equals to 0 kat sini so daripada sini kan daripada sini kita nak cari apa berapa value lambda 
Kenapa equals to zero ni? Equals to zero. Okay. So, daripada situ, kita boleh carilah lambda. Because we have lambda square tambah 3 lambda tolak 12 is equals to zero. So, you may find the answer by factoring. Uh, apa dia ni? 12. Macam ni? 12. Uh, Hmm, I made a careless mistake. Ada, anyone can spot what is my careless mistake here? Ada siapa-siapa boleh spot tak? I made a careless mistake tadi. Punya bla 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 bla. Baru perasan. I made a careless mistake. Ha, macam ni dah buat course online. Kalau dalam kelas maybe you all boleh go Saya teruskan. Where is my careless mistake? See the question here. Ni apa? Ha, minus 12. So, soalan ni sepatutnya minus 12. Ha, dah silap kat sini pun minus 12. Okay. So, maknanya bila kita darab silang ni, 12, 1 darab dengan negatif 12 kat sini. Negatif 12. Okay, negatif 12. So, kat sini akan jadi positif 12. Ha, tu yang saya pelik. Kenapa saya tak boleh faktor. Yang ni eh, negatif. Ni adalah negatif 1 darab dengan negatif 12. Okey, negatif 12. So dia akan jadi positif 12 kat sini. So jawapan dia adalah negatif 10. Okey, tambah kat sini 12. Ha. So bila yang ni akan dapat a square plus 3a a uh, 12 tolak 10, bukan 12 ni, tambah 2. Ha, ni kat sini silap. So dia say supposed to be plus 2 je. Plus 2. Okay. This one is supposed to be plus 2. So, bila ni barulah dapat faktorkan dengan betul. So, this one is lambda plus 2 times with lambda plus 1 equals to 0. So, cuba faktor darabkan uh, expand balik. Dapat tak? Lambda square tambah 3 lambda tambah 2. Okay, so daripada sini kita akan dapat lambda is equals to negative 2 and negative 1. Lambda is equals to negative 2 and negative 1. So these are the two eigenvalues of matrix A. These are the two eigenvalues of matrix A. Maybe some of you still lagi blur-blur. Tambah pula saya make a careless mistake tadi tersilap salin soalan. Uh, apa ni? Tak faham sangat. Okay, it's okay. You try, uh, let's try another example B. Lepas tu, you redo balik example A. Dapat tak jawapan lambda or the eigenvalue equals to negative 2 and negative 1. Alright? See? Ada pun jawapan kat sini. Ha. Some of you comment dekat e e SPP saya kata tak ada solution. Ha, ni ada satu solution ni. Saya dah bagi proper solution. How to get the answer here. So, this is the lambda I minus. <coughs> Sama je sebenarnya. Tadi, my example saya buat A minus lambda I kan. Matrix equals to zero. It's the same. Sebab at the end pun dia akan jadi. Sebab nama lagi determinant kan. Positif, negatif dia akan tetap jadi positif. Macam ni dia letak lambda I tolak A. Dia tak lambda kat depan. Saya sebelum tadi, example saya, saya letak lambda dekat belakang. So, we get 2 minus lambda. Kan? But at the end, you see the jawapan is still the same which is negative 1 and negative 2. Right? Okay. Now, let us proceed for B. Okay. Untuk B, saya akan guna teknik yang sama. Okay, so now let's proceed to B. So, yang B ni, maknanya we are finding A minus with I lambda, kan? So, I lambda ni, everyone take note, is equals to, ataupun um, I lambda ke lambda I ke sama, eh? Lambda I ke sama dengan ah uh, ni sama. Sebab it's just a constant darab dengan identity matrix. Okay, so a constant lambda Darab dengan identity matrix is 1, 0, 0, 1. So, lambda darab dengan identity matrix all identity identity matrix darab dengan lambda will get you lambda 0, 0, lambda. Okay, so in this case, our matrix A is 1, 2, 2, 4. 
minus with i lambda is lambda kosong kosong lambda, right? So, what we have over here is 1 tolak dengan lambda, so 1 minus lambda, 2, sebab 2 tolak kosong is 2, and then 2 tolak kosong is 2 juga kat sini, and 4 minus lambda, 4 minus lambda, okay? Then, daripada sini, to find its determinant, macam tadi, this is going to be equals to 0, kan? So, to find the determinant tu, kan? Determinant of this, 1 minus lambda, 2, 2, 4 tolak lambda, is equals to, ah, kita cross multiply je lah. So, we have 1 minus lambda, multiply with 4 minus lambda, ni, 2 darab dengan 2 is 4, tolak 4, so this thing is equals to 0. So, you have to expand this, kita akan dapat 1 tolak darab 4 is 4, tolak lambda, tolak ni, 1 darab 4, then tolak lambda, and then tolak 4 lambda, and then tambah with lambda square, tolak 4 is equals to 0. So, in here we get... <coughs> so, kat sini kita akan dapat 4 tolak dengan 4 ni akan jadi kosong Dan daripada sini juga uh, Oh, sorry Ok, 4 tolak 4 ni akan jadi kosong So, we have lambda square Lambda square minus lambda dar tolak dengan 4 lambda. So, dia akan jadi minus 5 lambda is equals to 0. So, what we have is lambda square minus dengan 5 lambda is equals to 0. Then, you can easily factor this. We're going to have lambda. Lambda tolak 5 equals to 0. So, from here, we are going to have two eigenvalue as well which are 0 and 5. Okay. So, boleh faham tak steps? Here on how to find the Egan values. Okay, so we stop here in our next lecture. Uh, sorry, in our next uh, video, kita akan discuss on how to find the Egan vectors. Okay, find the Egan vectors. Oh, saya dah buat dekat example 2. Saya dah jawab dekat example 3 dah ni. To find the Egan vectors. Sepatutnya, we are here. Tapi matrix yang sama je. Uh, ni, um, kan. ni, find the Egan values ni, matrix yang sama je, 1, 2, 2, 4, where we have lambda equals to 0 and 5 is the answer for this example 2. In example 3, baru kita nak find the Egan vector. Saya dah terke depan tadi, saya guna slide tu, tak apa, nanti saya sapu. And we're going to discuss example 3 in our next video. Alright, so that's all for the second part of the video.